Well, how do there, chums? To Zai, Captain of the Steve, and today, chums, I've got a very interesting video for you. Now, I watched a video by Jason Plays the other day, who's found out a sneaky little glitch inside of game that gives you infinite cloak ability. Thank you. Let's jump into game and let's get into this. Let's show you what this is all about. So, you know, I was saying that I would love to have a magical staff. Well, I now have one. It can make me go invisible infinitely long. Look, there's no timer at the top, no nothing. So how the fudge have I gone and done this? Well, this is pretty darn freaking awesome. So if you just grab yourself a multi-tool, in my case, I want to use a staff because I want to have a magical technical staff. Now, whatever you install as your secondary thing, you know, all of this is fine. All these weapons still work that are inside my multi-tool. Not a problem. So all you need to do is install, say, the cloaking device, if that's the one that you want to last for infinity. It doesn't work with the geology cannon or the plasma launcher, sadly. It works with the combat scope and it works with this. But anyway, you just install it, okay? Once it's installed, you'll notice, look, it's got a timer above me right there. You see it? It's going now, 75, 70. Look, you can only stay invisible for a very short period of time before the effects wear off, okay? Well, <laughs> if you just delete it, okay, you get the ability for free. And look, no timer. You can just do this infinity. Yeah, let's see if it works on a sentinel. Let's upset a sentinel. Hello, mate. Yes, I'm doing war against the war. Come on, sentinels. Okay, now I'm just going to go invisible. Sentinels are searching. Yes, it freaking works. Heck, yes, it does. Yeah, I can just stand right here, invisible forever. Yeah, you can't see me. Ha <laughs> ha. Brilliant. Well, there you go. Look, they're deactivating now. <laughs> freaking. Oh, okay. Well, they haven't deactivated just yet because they're still in close proximity. But, um, yeah, um, let's just jump. Let's, ah, fudge. There we go. I think they have deactivated, actually. Yeah, they're not bothered about me anymore. Done. So there is a prerequisite. I mean, yes, you're going to need the technology to install this thing. You know, you're, you're going to need your cloaking device, this thing. If you haven't got the blueprint for this, I'll show you where you can get the blueprint for this. I guess I'll be flying up to the old space anomaly, you know, where Nada and Polo are. I call it the Nexus, just for ease, because there's a lot of things inside this game that you call an anomaly. I'll see you up there, people. Okay, so as you're going through the No Man's Sky story, you should get yourself the ability to call in the Spatial Anomaly at your beck and call. So once you've got this, just fly on into said Space Anomaly. You can land on a landing pad, get on out, and I'll show you where you go next. Okay, so there's Nada and Polo, those two guys that you need for your missions. So you should find them as you're progressing the story anyway. If I leg it over this way, down this corridor, and over to this chap over here that looks like a shark, Yes, Eos. I'm going to be talking to Eos. There we are. Um, one second. I'm trying to talk to Eos rather than invite that other player to freaking play with us. Here we go. Research multi-tool upgrades. You should find the cloaking device right there. Heck yes. Underneath the personal force field. Just grab that. Grab that. That's all you're going to need. And look, you can see there you need to be able to craft solar mirrors. Now, if you haven't got the blueprint to craft a solar mirror, you just go to this one right next door. Pow! Inside of here, you should find the recipe for the solar mirror. So there you go, people. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy to get this done. And if you want to see Jason Plays' video, which is really good, I put a link up here. It's full credit to Jason Plays for finding this out. I don't know how he managed to work this one out, but it's freaking awesome. Well done, you, Mr. Jason of the Plays variety. Yeah, I'm going to go and make a save now because this works all the time. Look, it even works inside of the Nexus. So I could just be here inside of the Nexus, invisible for as long as I want now. And people are going to be like, oh, my God, days. How is Captain Steve like the Predator? Yes, pretty darn freaking awesome, huh? That's awesome. I'm well impressed with that. I've now got a new magical one toy. Heck, girls. <laughs> Oh, oh, brilliant. Infinitely cloaked. Pow. Yes. Can you see me being a get? Ha 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 ha. I don't know whether they can or can't. I'm going to have to test this on Friday's weekend mission -y type thing, you know? Yeah, look at that. Yeah, that's probably making him feel a bit weird. Right now. Coolio. Yeah, what, what are you doing by my ship, mate? Yeah, I can see you, but you can't see me. There he goes. He's blind around now. Don't know where he's off to. Yeah, probably likes my ship. It's a nice ship. I have to say it's a nice ship. Anyway, I'm just going to jump in my ship, out of my ship, make a little save. Really cool, really awesome little glitch. I'm fairly sure this is going to be patched out fairly quickly. I hope it doesn't, though, because that is freaking great. But, you know, it, it is a bug at the end of the day, people. So it might not be there forever. 
use it while you can. And yeah, I've now got a, a magical wand that makes me go invisible. And like I say, all the other stuff works just fine. So yeah, as long as you've not got another secondary thing installed. So if you go and install something now, like a secondary device, it breaks it and you have to do it again. So yeah, don't put in the combat scanner or geology scanner or plasma launcher, anything else that will scupper this. You just can't have any secondary thing installed. That's the only drawback. That's the only drawback. But you know what? This is still an awesome functioning weapon. And now it's got infinite cloaking ability. I love it. I can go and tease and blow up sentinels to my heart's content and then just go invisible. Freaking awesome. Anyway, people, that's that's pretty much everything I've got for you. Isn't it great that we're still finding stuff like this so many years after playing this game and after it's been released? Freaking great. Anyway, salute to Mondo. Take care. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again. Hit all those buttons, people. If this worked for you and if you're liking it, hit a like, hit a subscribe. Do all that shenanigans. Cheery bye.